Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything. I'm coming at you with the final video for my U.S. Airborne paratroopers. I want to say this. Uh, I've had some problems with videotaping my paratroopers for some reason. Uh, the, I've missed two videos. You missed out on those. I'm sorry. But I am almost 99% completely finished painting of these guys. I am getting ready to apply the uh, water slide transfers and then do a final touches on these figures. I've already flocked them with snow. So we are actually on the final steps and I apologize that you didn't get to see all the steps coming up to this point. Just to get you caught up because it's been a while since you've seen any videos because I hadn't been able to upload any. Uh, just to get you caught up, we went ahead and painted the uniform, the green uniform. We painted uh, the uniforms green, and then, there we go, and then we painted the rifles and the flesh. Wow, come on. Dang, okay, it'll, it'll focus that close. All right, so we got the green uniforms, the khaki packs, the OD helmet, the rifle, the metallic rifles, and we went ahead and flocked some snow on the base as well. Uh, basically, these guys are pretty much done. I went ahead and uh, used the brown dip on them so that you can see all the shadows and the folds in their fabric. Right. And I also went ahead and dry brushed green again to kind of bring out the straps. Sorry for the focus, not really staying with the model. And then, um, all right, so, so we got all that. Now, what I need to do is apply these decals individually to these. Now, these decals are super tiny, right? And there's only a limited number of sergeants, platoon sergeants, uh, squad leaders, things like that. Uh, there's also lieutenant and captain rank right here. I mean, these, this is small. You can see the size of my finger. Uh, here's a pencil, and you can kind of see that that little line right there is a lieutenant. And then uh, there's a medical... Okay, then there's, there's medical uh, right there. I'm going to put on my uh, medic... And then there's the 82nd, 101st. Of course, I'm going to put all the 101st guys. And I'm not going to put the American flags on because I'm not doing a, uh, a Normandy thing. I'm painting these guys up as if they were in either Market Garden or uh, Bastogne. So they have the green uniforms. So let me go ahead and get started. The very first ones I want to deal with is, I guess, the 101st Screaming Eagle uh, patch on the top. Uh, now, before we get started, th these are just water slides, so make sure you have water available uh, so that I can fill my little bin here with water. You know, so basically I just take one of these bins, I put pure water in it, you know. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second. Now I've got this, I need two brushes uh, because I need one brush uh, for my arrow, se arrow set. Uh, Aeroset is my decal setting solution. It actually is both the preparatory solution that I put under the decal as well as the solution I put on top of the decal. Okay, so the way that's supposed to work is, uh, and I'm going to kind of talk you through it real quick on just any one of these. I'm going to take a Screaming Eagle, cut it out with my exacto knife. Now you want to cut it fairly close without actually cutting the picture. I mean, put these all so close together, that's kind of hard to do. So you can see that I've got one tiny little decal. Okay, so I'm going to put it in the water. And luckily, 
I have a uh, what am I trying to say? I've got a pair of tweezers. And what I need to do is flip that over so that it is face up, not face down. Okay, there we go, face up. Now I pushed it down so that it dropped into the water. You saw that, right? This is going to be my water brush. So what I usually do is just keep that on the left side. And then this will be my arrow set brush. I don't want to get water into my arrow set solution. So I just pull this out. And what we're going to do is I think I'm going to do my NCOs first. The 101st Screaming Eagles is going to go on his left shoulder. So I put some arrow set there. And I'll let that sit just for a second. You don't really need to close this or seal it up between each decal. Okay. So my water, I have to kind of, now what I do is I push on the decal picture itself with a soft brush just to see if the decal is moving, and it is. So I'm going to reach in there with my tweezers. Grab the paper. Try to avoid grabbing the decal. And then here's the tricky part. I slide the decal off of the paper onto the model using a brush. Is my head in the way? No. Okay. Using a soft brush. Okay. Now, I have to move the decal around usually. It's not, oh wow, it actually went pretty good. But I still need to move it around just a little bit. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll see it's in place, but what you'll also, what you'll also see is there is water pooling up beneath it, or maybe the decal solution is, or the decal is in the solution. So what I need to do is take a paper towel and apply slight pressure to the decal. And what that does is the paper towel absorbs the extra water. And then my soft thumb applying pressure pushes all the water out from underneath the decal as, a, as well as allows the decal to, uh, what's the word? It allows the decal to form fit to the model because sometimes you'll put a decal on something with ridges or creases and the decal doesn't want to lay flat on that so you do that okay okay so now it's dry and it's on but it is not ready to go okay that is not finished why is it not finished let it sit for a minute and then what I'm going to do is apply aeroset. All right, it's been a minute later. So what I do is I go. Whoops. What I do is I go in, and all I do is just put a little bit of aeroset solution on the decal. I don't rub it or press on it or do anything to it. I let that solution soak into the decal because what this solution actually does is it actually melts the decal and it makes it permanently adhere to the model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that right there. Well, you can't see it's off camera, but I'm, I'm laying him down basically so that the decal rests perfect on his arm and I'm just going to let him sit there. Just let him ride. Now you're supposed to let this arrow set the second, the second, the first step decal on one minute, then arrow set drop don't mess with it four minutes all right so i'm going to go ahead and do a couple more of these uh 
Screaming Eagles in the meantime and then I'll be right back. All right now while the decal is soaking I reach in and I see if the decal moves. It doesn't and I just do it very gently because I don't want to force it to move but I do want it to move. Okay it's moving on the paper so then what I'll do is reach in with try to grab the paper and not so much the decal. It's really hard to do because I've cut it so small. You can respect that. Alright, so here we go. Now, when placing your unit insignia on the left shoulder, you understand that there is a crease um, at where the shoulder meets the uh, back of the back of the uniform right there's a crease of cloth right there where it's stitched together where the sleeve is stitched on okay the tab that's above the patch or if it doesn't have a tab like some some uh, units don't have tabs uh, those that tab is supposed to or that patch is supposed to be placed approximately I think I, I'm going off of memory now off of when I was in the service it's like a quarter of an inch below that so if you put it like right on it or super close to it you're not going to be wrong because there's no way to measure a quarter of an inch on that okay so he's on but he has not been set we're giving him that one minute okay while we're waiting for that one minute you know what I'm going to do I'm going to cut out my medic circles And I'm going to cut them both out, because I'm going to try to do them both at the same time. That's right, I said it. I'm going to try to do both those medic circles at the same time. Okay, whoa. Uh, now, I do believe that the medic symbols go on the sides of the helmet and not the front and the back. Um, let me do some research on that before I say that. Okay, uh, on the medic helmet, I did some research, and it looks like the medic crosses could go either way. They could go on the front, the back, the two sides. Uh, I thought about just putting it on the two sides, uh, but then I thought to myself, maybe I should put it on the front and the back. I don't know. So I think I'm going to do it front and back. Okay, so we're going to do the set on the front and back. Front little spot, back little spot, let that set. Because what that does is it kind of cleans up the model right there. Okay, we're going to put where the, yeah, where the decals are going to go. Slide that in, face up. Use my brush to push it under the water. There you go, it sinks to the bottom. That's exactly what I want. All right, while I'm waiting for that, I could, I could cut out a few more of these Screaming Eagles, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut out a Sergeant Strike. Okay, so let's see. Do these move? Yes, they should. Oh, yeah, they definitely do. So what I need to do now is use the tweezers. All right, so we got the little medical... on his helmet. All right, so let's go ahead and get some decals set on that. All right, so you get the general idea. Now, when it comes to the rank, I'm going to I'm going to say that I'm very disappointed with the rank. Um, if you take a look, you've got an equal amount of rank uh, that's black and then you have an equal amount of rank that is green. And uh, if you look at, like, Sergeant First Class, you have one of each color, right? And if you look at, will it focus this close? Right, you get one of each color. Except for maybe this E5, you get three. Well, I only need two. I need two of each. I don't need three of any, and I don't need one of any. Now, I can use the Sergeant First Class from the left side and then 
sergeant first class from the right side uh, but they're a little bit different in color so you, I don't know they do, I think it'll just look bad or look wrong or whatever but you know oh, okay two guys yeah so two guys will have e5 stripes and you know whatever so here we go Even my captain's got his captain's bat, uh, rank on there as well. There you go. Yeah, the captain's rank's like super hard to put on there. Uh, <clears throat> on one of my BARs, I made him a corporal. Uh, the, the moisture you're seeing there is the arrow set it hasn't completely dried yet uh, I'm letting that happen okay so basically I'm gonna let these guys dry but in the meantime you as you know uh, airborne troops had it oh yeah yeah forgot let me show you this one too got the medic oh I think I've already showed you that one uh, the airborne troops would the officers would have a vertical uh, stripe on the back of their helmet so that um, they could easily be identified in a crowd, uh, and uh, so their troops could link up with officers. And NCOs would have a horizontal stripe on the back of their helmet for the exact same reason, and that would be white. Uh, so I've got my wicker white right here. I'm going to go ahead and put a, just a simple drop in the palette, and we'll put these stripes on, and then that should be absolutely, well, after this dries, should be the last thing I do. One drop, white. Come on, white, where you at? There you are. That's all I need. <laughs> you don't got a very good, clear picture of this, but grab me a super fine tip paintbrush okay now this is my artillery officer right I made him okay this is a cool little diorama piece that you probably want to see yeah my artillery officer is behind a little box of uh, some like a fence of wood or whatever focus isn't doing too good here there we go and he's an officer so I need to give him the, one of the stripes as well. So here we go. Let me give him a stripe real quick. This is like super easy. But it's, I mean, not super easy. Super simple because it's like super. But it's small. So you got to be very careful not to make too much of a mistake. You could leave it. Hell, that was the same size as the lieutenant stripe. I guess I could. I could paint those lieutenant stripes. I'm that good? No. So we can ignore all that talking. There, and there's the bar on the back of his helmet. Yep. So now what I need to do is my three officers. That's my artillery officer. My first lieutenant. Now the bar that's on the back of the helmet is actually kind of a broad bar. It's probably about two inches, well, probably about an inch and a half wide in reality. So you gotta kind of guesstimate how, well, how big that would be. There you go, there's my captain's 
back of his helmet right there. Now I've got to do my three NCOs. Uh, I've got them. They need to have horizontal stripes. And I, well, actually, I wouldn't say NCOs because corporals are NCOs as well. I guess these would be squad leaders. I didn't. I don't know if corporals actually had the uh, stripe on the back of their helmet or not. What really is cool about this is because you're playing bolt action, and you need to know who the NCO is. This actually makes airborne troops super easy to find out you know who the officer is and who the NCO is on the table because you can see those horizontal stripes and those vertical stripes on the helmets uh, you know like as in the Germans you normally give them like soft hats or something like that but in uh, on the American paratroopers you give them those horizontal stripes and it makes it easy for you to see which one the NCO is and which one the officers are and which ones aren't. <laughs> now some of these helmets have nets like the one I'm doing right now. Uh, the helmet would have been painted with the stripe and not the net. So you still want to go back over and dry brush the net. Uh, maybe a khaki color or maybe an OD green or something. And uh, when you do that, it's going to, you want to do it on top of the white. All right, he's got his horizontal stripe. And guess what? Boom, these guys are done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the camera. I'm going to line these guys up, put them in lighting, and let you guys take a close look at these models, okay? I'll be right back with that close up. guys here is the platoon that's the box of 30 miniatures this, all, all these figures came out of one box of figures all right my lieutenant each squad should be each squad should be like a six-man squad with a sergeant and a bar gunner I'll work on the first patches from the third squad back here is Wingery. Right, and then we got the FO, built up a little diorama type base. And my sniper team right there. Got my medium machine guns. Uh, captain with a medic. Another medium machine gun. And that's it. Alright guys, thanks for coming out and checking out me putting these things together. Hopefully I'll be able to play with them on the battlefield, and I'll catch you next time.